everyone, it's Izzy here and today I am going to be doing a Funko Pop haul of just all the Funko Pops that I've got recently and some were gifts. So let's get into this video. I'm going to show you I've been looking for for a while. I did see it on the first of the month at Barnes & Noble, but I was already buying so much stuff and I was already buying a pop. I didn't buy it, so and I've got all of this line at Target, so I wanted to get the rest of the line at Target. And that is Charman Charmander, Charmander, um, however you want to say it. The side of the box is kind of like, I don't know if you can really see that, but it looks kind of scratched up. But I have Bulbasaur and I have 10 inch Pikachu, but I don't have regular Pikachu. I've not been able to find it. It came out on my birthday and everything, and it's almost a year ago. So Target, can you please restock Pikachu? Because I want to buy them in person. As for me, buying Funko Pops is about the hunt. I like to find them and I just like that challenge of finding a pop. Like I could just buy these things on Amazon and get it in two days, but that's not fun. Just pressing a button and getting it. I like the hunt. So we have Charmander who is in the Pokemon line, which not really line, the games line. So really happy about him. So the next two my dad got me when he was out of town um, at Barnes & Noble. So he got me 11 and this is from the new wave of the Stranger Things Pops for season three. So it looks like 11 was at the mall. She has a little bag because Starport Mall, which is actually Gwyneth Place Mall, and I have been there several times in the Atlanta area. So it's so cool that they got the film, that they, that's the mall they're using in Stranger Things. I really wanted to drive by when they were filming, but nobody would take me. So I didn't actually get to see Starport Mall. So if it's in the next season, I may have to try to go drive by because they probably took down the sign by now since the season comes out two weeks from today, which I'm starting my Stranger Things rewatch tonight. And um, our next one that my dad got me is Steve. And this is in his Ahoy outfit. There's like, there's one other. There's the um, Baskin Robbins exclusive, which I do not have a Baskin Robbins in my city. The closest one is like 45 minutes away. I went to one in Cleveland and they didn't have any Funko Pops there, but yeah, so I haven't been able to get that. And again, the hunt for me, um, but he's just holding an ice cream because Ahoy is an ice cream shop in the Starcourt Mall. So those are all the Pops. We do have more of the slime in this video, but we have him. So then I went to Augusta this past weekend for some minor league baseball and at Barnes & Noble, I got, th this is my first rock candy, and this is a Cersei Lannister in Game of Thrones. Cersei is like, I think she's the greatest female villain, because I really can't think of that many female villains that like aren't Disney villains. So I do think she is the greatest female villain of all time. Such a great character. I said that about like everybody in Game of Thrones, but it's true. So it's thirsty and I'm really excited. I just because I was like, I haven't seen this in my Barnes and Noble. I go to my Barnes and Noble like two days later and there's tons of them. Yeah, I really want the socks. So rock candy, I don't know if it's vaulted or not, but we will have to see. So again, in Augusta, I went to Hot Topic because we do not have a Hot Topic where I live and they had these American history ones which I didn't know these had come out yet. I know the next kind of wave, the Target ones come out next Friday and I'm going to be at Target as early as I can, which will probably be like six o'clock and they'll all be sold out, which will be very sad. And I'm gonna buy a ton. Yeah, so we have Mr. George Washington, the first president. So on the Funko app, it says Target exclusive, but I literally, and it's the same exact one. And I got this uh, Hot Topic and obviously there's no sticker, but yeah, I plan on getting all these because I am a history lover and I want them to do not just U.S. history. I think doing just a different, his the whole world history. I think that'd be really cool. So then another American history one we have is Benjamin Franklin with his kite with the key and Ben I think that's when he invented electricity. Um, I haven't done a lot of research on this time in history because obviously we don't learn about it so much in school, but my US history class 
was not the best. We literally were supposed to get to the Civil War by the middle of the semester and we were only at like the War of 1812. Yeah, um, I don't recommend private school. But um, yes, we have Benjamin Franklin here, the $100 man. And then our last pop, I got a Hot Topic again. We don't have a Hot Topic here, so I wanted to pick up a Hot Topic exclusive. And this is the 11 Hot Topic exclusive. It's not really that different. She says, here's the common and then here's the Hot Topic exclusive. So it's just a different outfit and her hair is in a ponytail when in this one is not. And she doesn't have the bag in this one. So there's a Hot Topic sticker, but I do collect all the Stranger Things. Funko Pops, they had a lot of them. Barnes & Noble does too, and Target is getting them in. So if you want one of these, those are places to check out. I don't go to GameStop that often because it's like in the mall. And um, yeah, so GameStop probably has some, but I just have not been yet. But I do really want to go because I have heard they have NASCAR Funko Pops. And those are my next big, what I want to film a hunt video on. I don't know if I am though because I haven't seen them in person yet. But if you guys want a hunt video for the US or the American history pops um, next week, let me know. Well, it will actually come out I think in two weeks since it will be you know, filmed on a Friday. So in about two weeks time, if you would like a American history Funko Pop hunt, give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys on Sunday with the third inning podcast, my baseball podcast. So tune in for that if you are interested. We have some interesting topics to talk about this week, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye guys.